So I was told I should start off with a spoken word piece. May I? Okay, thank you very much. And please don't judge me too harshly for these words, but I do need to see your fists up in the air because this is what we do to throw the poet power, throw the poet peace, love, and respect. So everybody puts their fists up in the air. And when I count down, or you're all going to count down with me, three, two, one, you're going to throw it at me and say, speak as loud as you can. Are you ready? Okay, let's do it. Three, two, one, speak. Three. This poem is dedicated to the Velji family. I want to write you a poem to silence the doubt in you. A poem to banish it from the home of your body. You are longing to find peace in the house of your mind. Shade in the gaze of your eyes. Trust in the steps of your feet. Safety in the palm of your hands and lodging in the breath of your word. For when the pulpit of your temple has lost its shine and the well of your heart has fallen to the depths of despair time after time, let me write you a poem that will see you die twice in this life. Once, when you have freed your soul from the shackles of ego, again, when you are called back to that perfect state before darkness taught you shame and only luminescence knew your name. And in the stages where you wait to be resurrected, I will wait with you and fill these pages with a lifetime of verses of which musical chords could never do. Because this poem is not so much a record, not so much amusing. This poem is a prayer. A monument to last beyond the time it takes to get you back to the here and now. I want to write you a poem to death and then to life again. Thank you. I am here, we are here, and I uh, performed that piece dedicated to the Velji family. The Velji family brought me to India last year, was so hospitable to me, set up everything for myself, and of course, Randy Kelly. Please, make some noise for Randy Kelly, who's worked incredibly hard in creating what we call Cine Poetry. We will be seeing some of those Cine Poems today. Incredible work by the youth. Anyways, the Velji family did bring us here the first time, and since then we've been invited back again, and that poem is for them, and I'm sure they know why. Uh, we love you for the sake of love. Thank you very much. All right, let's get it in. So we got Aditya on the mic performing a piece called Water. Can we uh, welcome Aditya to the stage, all the way to the stage? If I ruled the world, I would rule out the tidal tyrants that abuse H2O and flow that water back. Water, the savior of life, is diluting societies. Wars and famines levy water to weaken the enemy. Water is the, now the atomic weapon of the 21st century. If corrupt corporations posing as governments shared their secret solutions, everything would be solved. Solving the snag will allow the spirit of people to live through the sticky mess which they stick up with every day. I am fed up with it. Born into abundant resources, we are looted for our thirst. A country the size of Oregon throws it out like money. If one can do it, why not all? Dissolve those tidal tyrants and give us what we want, the necessity of life, water. Thank you. Keep that love going for Gregory, who's going to perform Love in the Form of a Soul, all the way to the stage. Gregory. 
Gregory? Gregory, what do you mean? You've been practicing for this. I know, but I mean... Gregory, if you want to try, you got to fly. Okay. Okay. All right, come on. All right, Gregory's ready to fly. He's going to try. Here we go. Fist in the air for Gregory. Three, two, one. B. Okay, so this poem's really personal for me. Um, it was when I got heartbroken for my first very first time. My heart is a great gateway to you. You take me in and you give me a chance. You put me through this upside down roller coaster, this unending slot machine, battery from here to there. I am still in this with you. Just grab my hand and never let go. I am lost without you. This vortex of space and time, where it feels like it goes on forever. A desert that takes from the sun to Pluto. <laughs> I am still in this with you. This rejection of not able to give you a simple hug. It's not you, I know. My honesty is here when you need it. My hope is that we can stay together. My heart is here for you. Love in the form of soul stealer. Thank you. Keep that love going for Gregory and also Coco Busvine up next. <laughs> Performing a piece called Drowning. It's like a fog that never settles, surrounding you, draining you, until sleep arrives with bags for your eyes, gray and black with tenderness, sucking you in, a whirlpool in your mind, relentlessly pulling until your blood runs cold and limbs feel numb, a tidal wave crashing into rocks, the depths of the ocean drowning you in negativity. You thought you were blind, but then a flash of light, a point source guiding you to life. You kick the water, forcing it down, splitting through the surface, rising to be reborn. Suddenly, the air smells fresher, the grays turn to hues of blues, your first footprint, black, as it disappears into the depths, back where it belongs. You sit on the beach with the sun's rays on your face, with the depths of the ocean in your peripheral. Drowning in positivity. Okay, when I say poetry, you say slam. Poetry, slam. poetry. Slam. When I say poetry, you say slam. Poetry, slam. poetry. Slam. Okay, keep that love going for Lucas Elliott performing a piece called Jays. There's nothing I love more than the smell of a fresh pair of J's. Because it gets me excited for the days when I walk into school and they make my friends drool. But at the same time, I feel strange because logos are shepherding shackled sneakerhead sheep into the trap. A trap to lock the shackles around shady shaft-like legs, and that's a wrap. You're stuck in the funnel, leading to a tunnel with a can for trash that you're filling with your cash. When I see in the news, Someone getting jumped for their shoes? I can feel the bruise, and it gives me the blues, and the reds, and the greens, and every color. I'm conflicted because I'm addicted. I'm filling the can, I'm locking the shackles, I'm a sheep, I'm in the tunnel. And as these beautiful, beautiful jays hold my gaze, my smile slowly fades. But you're not the only one. We can loosen the wrap, unravel the bandage, because it's okay to love jays, just don't become a slave. Yes, that is how it goes. Spoken word is empowerment. Next up, we have Imran Velji performing a piece called Soccer. Make some noise. Yeah. 
Soccer. It's more than a game. You got to start slow, my friend. Give him the proper respect. Three, two, one, see. Soccer. It's more than a game. When you miss, there is no shame. Only a try again from your teammates. Soccer is unique. Relaxing. When you put all your worries behind you and play the game that binds you, holds you together, because no one can resist kicking the ball, even if it means taking a fall, because you are risking it all to play the game of your life. And even if you kick the ball in the net, you have a pleasure you never forget. And you get a new urge, a surge to score more goals to get through the door of soccer. When you're down by one and know that your time is now, you pass the ball back and forth and play for all you're worth, then you score. And you tear up the floor because it's all tied up now. It's everyone's game. And even if you lose, there's no shame because you've tried. And you smile. That grin you have on your face when you win, but when you lose, and you remember, there's always another go. Another try to soar sky high because soccer is about winning inside yourself. Soccer is a thrill. Soccer is about smiling and giving, receiving and grinning because you play soccer to work as a team, to have fun, because no one can take away your love and passion for soccer. How was that, everybody? You saw how we picked it back up? Show them some love again. Picked it up just like a ball of soccer, right? Probably juggled it a little bit, did all those fancy tricks. Okay, you guys want to see some cine poetry? Yes. How about we see a cine poem? Sound booth up there. Are you ready for a cine poem? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's a surprise. I don't even know who they're showing first, but we're going to take the lights down and please enjoy this cine poem by one of the AES students. Hit it. Can we dim the lights so we get some good contrast? This is good? Okay, okay. Okay. Poetry is difficult. Sometimes I fear poetry. Or maybe I fear my fear of poetry. Today may not be that day, but one day, I will break the fear and write a good poem. 